Hey folks, this video is going to cover head turns. Let's start by reviewing some reference video. Notice that the chin tucks in and downwards when the head turns from left to right. This next clip will give you an idea as to why this happens. I'm using a bucket lid to help demonstrate this concept. I'm including post-it notes as the eyes and a mouth so that we can track movements when studying the height. In order to simulate a human head turn, I'll tilt the plane of the lid slightly to mimic how the cranium connects to the spine. See what's happening with the height of the eyes as I rotate the lid? Give this a try at home if you have access to materials. Alright, this clip shows how I map the vertical location of the chin at major points in the head turn. The big idea when animating is that you compensate by putting in high and low points during the head turn of your animated character. So if you're brand new to animation, I'd recommend duplicating a circle, moving it around, and getting it to the right location and timing for your head turn. You can do this by drawing an equator, two eyes, and a nose. So once you're done working through that first cycle, and you're feeling comfortable about this, I think you should go back and try to animate a different character and try to have a different type of a shape for the head. This final segment is business as usual. My first pass is about getting the shapes and the volumes in. Timing and fine tune adjustments will come later. The next pass will allow me to work with a skinnier line. There's still a lot of flexibility at this stage. Once I'm happy with the way things turn out, I could do another rough pass or just start on the cleanup. I think the big takeaway is to work in passes. Study references, start drawing in basic shapes, and then go back and tie down the details. These exercises should not be pretty. In fact, they should feel pretty challenging. Thank you for watching.